Hi, I'm Natalie from Cantilever and welcome back for this Beam Inspired Create Your Balance session using your wobble boards. We're really excited for this second collaboration with Louise from Rejuvenate Physio. A huge thank you to Louise, Lily, Chloe and Lucy for putting this together. We know this is going to be another great session. It would be great if you could tag Cantilever and Rejuvenate Physio in any social media posts using the hashtag createyourbalance. We'll be running a competition throughout the day to win a cantilever and rejuvenate good physio goodie bag. Please feel free to leave us any feedback you may have. Now to hand over to Louise, Lucy and Lily Clo to take you through this beam session. So let's imagine it's the most glorious bright sunny day and you're really excited because you're about to try your first ever triathlon. So let's climb on our wobble boards. And to begin with, we need to collect and pack all the items you need to take with you. And you'll do this by squatting down and standing up or reaching out to fetch whatever you need. So off you go. Remember to pack your swimming cap, your goggles, your cycling helmet, your wetsuit, your trainers. Fantastic. Is everyone all packed up? Brilliant. It's time now to walk down to the local lake. So stand up nice and tall, get those arms swinging. Brilliant. Oh, look, your neighbours have all come out to wish you good luck. So give them a wave, girls. Turn and wave. Thumbs up. Say hi. Oh, how nice was that? Brilliant. Let's carry on our walk down to the legs. So keep those arms swinging. You want to get that body warmed up. And you've arrived. Amazing. So it's time now to bend down, put all your things on the floor and pop your swimming cap, your wetsuit and your goggles on. Brilliant. Is everyone ready for their swim? Let's walk down to the water and get in. Oh, it's a little bit cold and chilly in there today. Oh, it's making you shiver. Maybe we should do some mini squats and dips to pop your shoulders and dip your head under so you get used to that temperature. Oh, that feels better. Is everyone ready to start their triathlon? On your marks, get set, go. You start swimming with some front crawl. You're finding your pace. And now you're getting into the rhythm of things. Every couple of like arm swings, you're taking a breath from right to left and you're moving away from the shore. Excellent work. Oh no, you may have gone out a little bit too quickly. You're feeling a bit short of breath. So roll onto your back and have a go at backstroke instead. So you're looking up to the sky, you're stretching those arms and you can catch your breath again. Doing really well here. Nice strong arm strokes, you stretched elbows, you're plowing through that water, you're feeling like your energy's back. So you're getting fairly close to the finish line. You decide to turn over and finish with some breaststroke. So reach your arms forward, circle them round, and kick yourself all the way to shore. Push and pull, push and pull. Yes, excellent stuff. Your swim is finished. It's time to walk over and to find your bike and all your equipment. And let's get those goggles off, swimming cap off. Let's pop our trainers on because otherwise your feet will get too sore on the bike. And 
And last but not least, let's pop that helmet on and clip it in so it's nice and secure. Brilliant, we're ready. Let's climb onto that bike. Swing that leg up and over. Fantastic, keep going up and over. Yes, we are ready for this cycle. Hands on the handlebars and let's get those legs moving. So we circle them round, nice big circles. Your knee comes up towards your chest and you push it down and straight around. Imagine you go round the clock. This is awesome. You're getting into a nice rhythm there and you're about halfway around your course now. Excellent. Oh no, I see the most ginormous hill in front of us. We better lean forwards, cling onto those handlebars and cycle like mad. Let's get those legs moving. Climb that hill. You want to get all the way up. You don't want to have to climb off your bike and walk up. Go on, get those legs moving, moving, moving. Yes, we've made it to the top. Excellent work. Catch your breath, have a look from right to left. Admire the view, what do you see? Horses, sheep, cows, trees, lakes. Oh no, you realize you're going too fast down that hill. You better get cycling backwards so you stay on your bike. We don't want anyone falling off today. Fantastic, get those legs circling backwards, slow yourself down. Oh, see the finish line, you're nearly there. And you're through. Brakes on, climb off your bike. That's it, keep climbing. And now let's take that helmet off, pop it down, sunglasses on, and we're ready for the last part of our triathlon. Let's get running. So we're gonna pump those arms, and leg. You'll see Lucy's alternating between sides, driving those knees. Let's find a super rhythm and pace. You're almost done, girls. This is amazing. Who feels up for a sprint finish to get to that finish line? Yes. On your mark, let's go. Pick up the speed, pump those arms, lift those legs. Congratulations, you finished your first ever triathlon. So now everyone's warmed up. Would you like to take a drink? And then we'll move on to our beam inspired workout. So now everyone's had a quick drink and is feeling refreshed. Let's climb on our wobble boards and imagine we're mounting the beam. To begin with, for the first three exercises, you are going to place and position your right foot slightly in front of your left. So it's as if you were standing on the beam. And we're going to do some heel raise and squat activities so it helps your leaps and jumps as well as your landings. So for exercise number one, to begin with, our feet are in the right place. We straighten our knees. We make sure our core's engaged. Shoulders are nice and square. Lily Chloe's going to raise her arms up out to the side so they're beautifully tight. And Lucy's going to take her arms up by her ears, which is slightly harder so they're towards the fifth ballet position. Keeping everything nice and tight, you're slowly going to rise up towards a releve or heel raise position. Only lift as high as you feel comfortable and then lower back down to the starting position so your heels make contact with the board. So, when everyone's ready, we're going to do 20 seconds, if Luke can get the timer up, 20 seconds of heel raises and then we'll hold your raise position for 10 seconds. Is everyone ready to go? Okay, let's start. So smoothly up onto your tiptoes and then lower back down. Good, keep going up and down. Everything squeezed tightly together. Excellent work, girls. Look at 
that beautiful high relevo there of Lily Close. Fantastic. On the next heel raise, stay up there and hold that position. Try not to let your ankles roll or sickle. Keep those legs squeezed together. Be beautifully tight. Amazing. And relax down. For exercise two, we lift our arms up by our ears and we start with our knees nice and straight. So both girls are going to have arms up. And at the same time, you're going to bend your knees and bring your arms down to a landing position, like you've finished a jump, okay? So we straighten our knees and lift our arms up by our ears, and then we bend our knees and bring our arms down to land. Super, let's go. So nice and tight movements up and down, imagine just finished your favorite jump on theme. It's the most beautiful one you've ever done with tight knees, pointed toes, stretched feet. We'll do a couple more girls. And then we'll hold the landing position nice and tight. So your knees are bent, arms are out in front and you hold. Fantastic. Okay, the final exercise here with our right leg in front of our left will be a bent knee heel raise. Again, to help you push off that beam for your leaps and jumps. So, Lily Chloe's going to pop her arms out to the side. Lucy will have her arms overhead in fifth. Both girls are going to bend their knees, keep the knees bent, and then they're going to rise up onto their tiptoes. So you'll see that the front of the ankles push forwards. So when everyone's ready, we're going to go up and down. So the heels lift off the wobble board and then slowly lower back down. Trying to keep this body super strong and tight. We want as few wobbles on possible on me. We don't want to give those judges any, any marks away. Okay, on the next one, hold that position for me. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant and relax. Good job, girls. Okay, let's change. So your left leg is now positioned slightly in front of your right. And we're going to do exactly the same circuit. So arms ready, girls. Lily clothes are out to the side. Lucy's are up by our head. Elbows are straight. Fingers are stretched. Knees nice and straight. Core tight. And let's go up and down towards releve, keeping those knees nice and extended. Smoothly up smoothly down without letting our ankles wobble out to the side and keeping our body beautifully upright. Make yourself as tall as possible. Fantastic girls, this looks brilliant. On the next one, stay up in the heel raise position and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and relax. Yes, now it's time to do our landings. So, arm for both girls up by ears. We're going to bend the knees into a mini squat and bring the arms out as we would to land. When everyone's ready, we start with straight knees, arms up, and bend to land. Keep going through that movement. Be super strong and tight. Amazing. Keep going, girls. Doing some nice mini squats and plies there. You look beautifully strong. On the next one, hold that position. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, amazing. So the last exercise in this sequence is our bent knee heel raises. 
muscles, which works your lower calf muscles. So Lily goes arms will go back out to the side, so she feels a little bit steadier. Lucy's arms will go up into fifth. We bend our knees, so we do a mini plie to start. We keep our knees up bent and we lower and lift our heels from the wobble board. So up and down, that's it. And you feel that the front of your ankle pushes forwards. Nice, smooth movements. Try and keep that wobble board as still as you can. Oh, girls, you're looking amazingly strong, BB. On the next one, hold that position for me for 10, 9, 8, 7, cause tight, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. Brilliant job, girls. So now we're going to move on to doing some kicks. So you will stand on your right leg first. So make sure that right leg's in the middle of your wobble board and you will position your left leg in front of the board with your toes pointed and your knees nice and straight. If you're new to using your wobble board, place your hands on your hips like Lucy. And if you're more experienced, then take your arms out to the side like Lily Close beautifully demonstrated. And we're going to kick those legs as high as you feel comfortable. We're more bothered by tight, sharp, with everything extended. We're going to go for 20 seconds in front. So when everyone's ready, let's do some really tight tap kick and go. So tap. Oh, wow. Look at the height there of those legs. Keep your body up nice and tall. Have your shoulders straight and square and your hips nice and level. This is important for your jumps on beam. Fantastic, keep kicking. And on the next kick, hold your leg up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now swing that leg round to the side of the board. So you're still balanced on your left leg, on your right leg, but your left leg is now out to the side. Exactly the same, girl. Some nice, strong, tight kick. As high as you feel comfortable, let's go. Now try to stay upright and not lean over to that right hand side. We don't want you falling off the beam, do we? So you kick the leg as high as you feel is comfortable. You can bring the foot down to touch the side of the board if you need to stabilise and support yourself in between each go. And when you're ready, on the next go, hold that leg up and out with toes pointed for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and relax. Okay, the last one in this sequence. So we're now going to swing your leg behind. Brilliant, okay. And again, tight tap kicks towards an arabesque position. Extend that knee, point those toes, tight, fast kick. Let's go, girls. Beautiful, imagine they're ahead lights on your hips and they're facing forwards. You don't want to feel that you're twisting in those hips. We need nice square hips for landing leaps and jumps. Keep kicking, body up tall. And on the next one, hold that leg up. That's it, keep squeezing, stay as still and as straight as you can. Hips square for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Brilliant job, let's swap on to the other side. So now you'll be standing and balancing on your left leg and we'll be doing the kicks with your right. So when everyone's ready, hands on hips like Lucy if you need a bit of extra support, arms out to the side if you feel more steady like Lily Clo. And let's go, tight kicks in front. You need to do as high as you feel comfortable doing so without becoming too wobbly. Really stretch those knees, point feet and toes. 
grow up as tall as you possibly can, be proud to stand on that beam. Amazing. And hold that leg up there, girls. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Swing the right leg round to the side of the board. And we do sideways tap kicks now. Let's go. Up and down, sharp, tight movements. Fantastic, try not to lean to one side. We don't want you looking like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Absolutely amazing. Keep going, girls. This is brilliant. And on the next go, hold that leg out. Imagine there's a balloon on top of your head, pulling you up to the ceiling. Keep that core tight. Some of you may find one leg's feeling a bit easier than the other, like Lily Chloe there. And relax. The last one of this sequence, swing that right leg so it's behind you. Knee nice and straight, foot pointed, and let's start these reverse kicks. Up and down. You may find your legs in turn out, which is exactly fine. Imagine the legs following the line of that beam behind you, so you stay on it. You kick as high as you feel is comfortable. Fantastic, and hold that leg up on the next rep for 10, 9, 8, 7. Lift these chins, be proud. 3, 2, 1, and relax. Fantastic work, girls. Now we're going to move on to doing a few leap and jump based activities. The first exercise we will try is a stretch jump variation. And to do this, you will begin in your takeoff position. So most of you will have one foot slightly in front of the other. So position yourself how you'd feel most comfortable on the beam for this. And you may find different people have different legs in front and that's absolutely fine. So begin by prepping your stretch jump. So move down into your preparation position. Good, you then swing your arms up by your ears as you straighten your knees and push onto your tiptoes if you feel comfortable. Then you bring your arms down and out to land. So let's try that again. So we prep. Drive up, knees straighten, toes point, and then we come back down to land. Brilliant. At your own pace, let's do 30 seconds worth of that, keeping everything as tight. Remember, you want to drive up off the beam, beautifully strong and straight. Amazing. Very nice. Try not to let your ankles roll if you can. Those cores tight and engaged. One more repetition. Very nice. Okay, now it's time to move on to doing a modified split jump. So for this, we will position yourself standing on your left leg to begin with. What will happen? You will prep for your jump. You will swing your right leg forwards up towards a split leap position, arms out nice and strong, and then come back down so your feet together, bend your knees and land like you would on the beam. So when everyone's ready, Let's have a go. So we prep, we swing the leg up and come back down to land. If you feel super strong and confident, you can consider driving up onto your tiptoes on the left hand leg. So it's like you're pushing off that beam. So keep those knees straight toes high and only lift the leg as much as you feel is comfortable to do so. One more repetition and finish. 
Brilliant. We're going to stay balanced on that left leg, okay? And now we're going to swing the right leg backwards, like lifting the back of your split jump. So, again, when you're ready, go through your preparation to drive off that beat, swing the leg behind you, and come back in to bend knees and land. So, drive, kick, knees tight, toes pointed, and land. If you feel comfortable, you can drive up onto your tiptoes on the left leg as your right leg swings backwards. So it's as if you're really pushing off that beam so you elevate on the left. Good try, Lucy. And you'll see that much more tricky to do. So that may take some time to get used to. Amazing job, girls. Let's now have a go at those split jump variations on our opposite leg. And I know everyone will favor one side splits compared to the other, but it's nice to try and make your bodies as symmetrical and balanced as possible. So now you're standing on the opposite leg. Sit and you're going to kick one leg forwards after you press. Drill and down. So you're balancing on your right, you bend your knees, you drive up in the air, kick the leg, knees straight, toes pointed, and we come down to a rock solid stable landing. No wobble side to side. We don't want to give those judges any room to take the marks off you. We'll do a couple more. Keep trying, keep those bodies upright. You want to fly straight up towards the clouds, not off to one side. Amazing. Good. Now let's try swinging your left leg as the back leg. So some of you may notice you can't get this leg as high as the other side, and that's all right. Just practice, and things will start to improve. So when you're ready, prep. Swing and arms out to land. Stretch, swing, arms out to land. Good. Try and keep those bodies up nice and tall. And make sure you have a nice stable landing position. Excellent. One more repetition. Brilliant job, girls. So now we're going to move on to some dip swings. So these will help your leaps and make you think about your body position. So you will start balancing on your right leg. If you'd like to make it a little bit easier, do what Lucy's doing and place your hands on your hips. If you'd like for it to be slightly more unsteady, take your arms up or out. You start standing on your right leg with your left leg behind you. You then bend your right knee and you swing the left leg forwards and through and then straighten the right knee. And then we dip swing backwards. So we bend the right knee, swing the leg behind. So let's look at nice smooth fluid movements. As your knee bends, make sure that it stays lined up with the middle of your feet. So where your laces would be on your shoes. Try not to let this knee drift in and out. Shoulders should be nice and square and your hip should be level. Try not to let one hip drop below the other. And this is really important for our leap. So we swing as we bend the knee and we keep reversing that motion. Good, smooth, fluid movements. Straighten those knees, point those toes. Fantastic. Let's give that a go on the, on the other side. So balance on your left leg. Pop your right leg straight behind you with your knee nice and straight, shoulders and hips level and square. Then bend that left knee, swing the leg through, straighten the knee and then do the reverse. Dip and swing and dip and swing. Keep everything super strong. Remember where those knees should be going. No wibble wobble in and out of those knees. 
super stuff. Let's do a few more repetitions, girls. Keep those hips nice and level and square for me, Lily Clo. Pull those paws in. And you're done. Well done. Let's all have another quick drink break and then we'll finish with some leap landing work. Okay, let's move on. And we're going to do some mini single leg plies, which will help uh, your control if some of you are learning to do squat spins and equally they'll help with your landing control for your leaps too. So to begin with, stand on your right leg and place your left leg in front of the board. Make sure your knee is straight, your toes are pointed. You can either have your hands on your hips or out to the side, whichever feels more comfortable. You're then going to bend your right knee so that that kneecap follows over the middle of the foot and your hips remain level and square. So we dip and then stand back up. Dip and stand back up. Good. Dip and stand back up for me. Excellent. Look how straight those bodies are and those hips are square. Amazing stuff, girls. Now let's swing the left leg behind us. So we'll go through a dip swing, leg behind, and we're going to do exactly the same here like we would for our leap landing. So imagine you finished as a zone jump or a split leap or a changed leg split. You're going to bend that knee, keep the leg straight and high behind you hips level and square. Some of you may feel your knees are a bit wobbly in and out and that's okay. This is going to help give you landing control and some strength in your legs. Amazing. Let's have a go at that on the opposite leg. So balance on your left leg. Right leg in front, knee nice and straight, butt really stretched and toes pointed. And when you're ready, let's start those mini dips or plies. Check that your knees don't bash together and that your kneecap stays in the middle of your foot. Excellent stuff. A couple more repetitions and then swing that leg behind you through a dip swing motion. Leg nice and high at the back if you can and finish your reverse plie. Watch those knees. We don't want to see it drifting in towards the other leg. Keep your hips level and square. You may be starting to feel a little bit of burn in your legs now. Keep those cores strong. A couple more repetitions. And relax. Excellent work. Okay, so if you now position yourself with both feet in the centre of the board, we're going to do a little bit more balance work and we're there. If everyone lifts their arms up tightly by their ears, so stretch, so we're almost in a fifth ballet position, very good. Your knees are straight, your core is tight, and you're making your body as long as you possibly can. We're going to move through a dish and an arch action and then come back to a central position. So what we're going to get Lucy to do is just turn side onto the camera for us so you can see that. And if she feels stable, she'll also try going up on her tiptoes. So nice smooth movement. This is to help you recover your balance. If you feel a bit wobbly on beam after coming out of a skill, try and keep those ankles glued together. No rolling or sickling, core tight and make your shapes beautifully strong. Amazing girls. Now, we'll try the opposite. We're going to imagine you felt a bit wobbly to one side and you have to bring yourself back to the middle. So again, arms up by ears. You're going to side bend over to the right, come up to the middle and side bend over to the left. So imagine you're feeling a bit wobbly, you're leaning over to that one side and you have to snap and pull your body back to the middle. 
if you feel comfortable on flat feet, then have a go at rising up onto your tiptoes. You don't have to do it all the way up on releve. You could just try going halfway up. And again, your feet can position, be positioned one slightly in front of the other, like they would to balance on beam. If you're little, you will be able to get two of your feet next to one another on the beam. But as you get older, you won't be able to fit them. So you'll position one foot slightly in front of the other. Amazing job, girls. Okay, let's pop our arms out. One foot slightly in front of the other. Head looking straight in front. And I'd just like you to gaze your eyes up and down, okay? You can rise up onto releve and try this if you want and see if it makes you feel a bit more wobbly. Either arms by side or arms out, nice and stretched. And you may feel that as you move your eyes, it makes your ankles feel a little bit more unsteady and you're having to work hard to squeeze them together, keep those thighs nice and tight, core strong. Your head is looking straight in front, but your eyes are gazing up and down, up and down. Fantastic girls. So we have one last exercise for you both to try today, which is going to be like doing a pivot turn on beam. So you're going to raise your arms up by your ears. Place your right leg slightly in front of the left. If you feel comfortable, go up onto your tiptoes. And then slightly turn your body to the left and back to the middle. The aim is to keep your shoulders stacked above your hips, your hips stacked over your knees, and your knees stacked over your ankles. Everything's super tight, so pull in that core, squeeze those shoulder blades, keep your head up, and you rotate smoothly up to a quarter of a turn round and back into the middle. Fantastic. Okay, let's try the other side. Oh, Lucy, you have someone eager to try. That's cute. It's fine, Lucy. Don't worry. Absolutely fine. Okay, so we swap legs now. So your left leg is in front of the right, arms up by ears. Rise up onto releve if you feel comfortable. And now that your left leg's in front of your right, you're going to want to do a, the turn in the opposite direction, Lily Clo. So you'll want to turn to the right and back to the middle. Otherwise you'll feel blocked as you go to turn. That's it, arms stretched, glued by ears, core's tight. Try and keep those ankles absolutely as still as you can. You've done the most amazing job, girls. Keep going for a few more seconds. And you are done. Amazing job, girls. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for that. Now we've finished our beam inspired workout. The girls are going to show you some parts of their beam routine. So we'll pass you over to Lily Clo and Lucy so they can teach you some of their beam choreography. Enjoy. Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you a tiny bit of my beam dance. So if you want to follow along, just have a go. So we're going to start by just lifting the arms up to your ears and your knee. So it's like this. And you're just going to press it from here to back. And as you put your knee to here, so then back, you're going to press your arms out and open your shoulders like that. So you're just going to be like this, like that. Once you've done that, so you're going to go like this. Then you're going to stand on two feet and bring this arm all the way across and out. So like a wave with your arms. So you're going to go here and out. It doesn't matter what arm you do, you can go with this arm, or you can go this way. So you're gonna go here, out, and round, and out. Okay, so we're gonna do that one more time. So here, out, and then round, finish. 
once you've done that, you're going to bring your, it doesn't matter what leg you do, bring your legs forward and bend this leg and bring your arms like this so they're touching like this. You're going to go like that and like that. So you're going to go here and down. And then you're going to put it all together. So you're going to go up, out, round, down, in, out, and up. So you're going to do that one more time. So up, out, round, down, and head. I'm finished. So that is part of my being dance. So now I'm going to head over to Lucy and she's going to teach you some of yours. Okay, thanks Lily. So now I'm going to teach you a bit of my being dance. So you're going to need to stand on your wobble board. And firstly, we're going to take, well, you can use whatever leg you want. I'm standing on my right leg. And you're going to cross over your left leg over your right leg. So it looks like this. And you're going to link your hands together and take, like, turn them inside out and put them above your head so your palms are facing the ceiling. So you're going to go do that all together. So you're going to cross your legs and your arms and put them up like that. So let's do that one more time. So cross your legs and your arms. And then after we've done this, from this position, we're going to put our leg in front and softly go like that with our arms. So we're going to put from up to the ceiling, we're going to bring them into our chest. One's going to go up and one's going to follow our train of our leg. So let's do that from this position. So we're going to follow our leg with our arms. Like that. So we're going to do that all together. So cross your arms and your legs and then follow your leg like that. Just like that. So after we've done that move, we're going to then put our leg like this again and we're going to attach our arm. Well, we're going to hold our elbow on the other arm. You can use whatever arm you like. I'm going to put it up to our um, ears like this. So one, hand, one arm is going to be straight and one's catching the other elbow. And I don't know if you can see my hand, but we're going to roll your arm like this. So if I move that back. So once we've been in this position, we're going to then go like this and I'm going to go in and then roll your hand and then back out and press out like that so after this here ooh, then in like that in and out so if we do that all together so we're going to start like this and follow your leg and up in and out okay so let's do that one more time and then you can try and copy it. So let's go up, press, up, in and out. So that's a little snippet of my bean dance. So hopefully you can follow and create it yourself. Well guys, that's a wrap for today's session. We hope you had fun fun in the class. Thanks for joining us and we really look forward to seeing all your competition entries and let's hopefully see you all next week. Have a good week. Bye! Bye.